guys, welcome to Kenganda. On today's episode of Agribusiness, we travel to Namayuba on Hoima Road to Star Peak Enterprise Uganda Limited. And it being a rainy season, the roads were muddy and our car got stuck, but our two videographers got out and helped push the car. Mr. Christopher Mulindwa, an expert in agribusiness, introduced me to Mr. Paul, the owner of the farm. In every farm, biosecurity is practiced to prevent entry of disease-causing agents. It is done differently in various farms, but at Star Pig Enterprise, you go as far as taking a bath before getting to the farm. When you enter inside, mm. you're supposed to disinfect your gumboot oh. so that in case there is any, you are carrying Perfect. any disease, oh. when you enter inside, it will be, your gumboots will have been disinfected. Oh, okay. Is this what they call bio security? Yeah, bio security. Bio security. Uh, security for the person, yeah? Security. Okay. So you go first, then I follow you. Because yeah. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> so, uh, oh, okay. Yeah. Oh my God! I'm supposed to go all the way in. Yeah, but you can just put it. Oh, because I don't yeah. trust my boots. They make yeah. me. Oh my God! <laughs> oh, okay. And that's it. Yeah, that is oh, it. okay. Okay. So people have to shower here. Yes. After showering, mm. you're supposed to take the overall. Oh. This this clothes you're supposed to leave them there. there. You come when you are. You don't have any clothes, mm. then you shower and you take the overall. Mm. So your overalls are already disinfected? Eh? Uh, the overalls, they are just inside, now they are okay. Mm. Okay. My name is Paul Kiplagat. Okay. This farm is called uh, Star Pig in the Price. Star Uganda Pig. Limited. Star Pig in the Price, Uganda uh, Limited. Star Pig Enterprise, Uganda Limited. Limited. Perfect. Now, this farm started it on February this year. Stop. Really? Uh, this is progress for someone who just started this year. For me, I was. I'll, I was interested in pigs so much mm. since I was in secondary school. Really? Uh, now yeah. I say that when I finish college, yeah. I'll start pig oh. The purpose of starting this pig farm mm -hmm. is because you have been seeing in Uganda, mm. you find that uh, the, the pig farmers they are facing so many challenges. Mm. Now we said that let us start something mm. that maybe we can use that opportunity mm -hmm. so that we have something which can help other farmers. Wow, yeah. and that's really the important thing, not just doing things for money. Yes. Now anyway, can you tell us, since you started this year in Feb, what yeah. capital did you start with? We started with uh, approximately 40 million. 40 million? Uh, yeah, 40 million because mm. we were looking for F1 generations. The F1 generation, those are crosses of Landris and Yorkshire. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, in Uganda, those uh, F1 generation, we couldn't find them. Mm. Now we, we decided that we are going to settle on F2 generation mm. for uh, for a certain period of time, uh. so that when we get the uh, we get enough money, mm. now we can import the F1, F1 generation. F1 generation, and uh, you'd be the first ones to have F1 in Uganda. The, uh, there are some which have been having them, but it's only for their farm. Oh, uh, not for sale. Not for sale. Okay, mm. I understand that. Now you yes. speak of how many challenges you saw that Uganda and, and mm. pig farmers were facing. What yeah. challenges have you faced as yeah. you as Paul the farmer, the pig farmer? The yeah. most challenge is mm. when it comes to because you find that you you buy a, a pig so that uh, you keep it so, so that it gives you like it gives you money, but mm. you find that. Uh, once you bought that pig, yeah. the piglets that are going to be to be produced, mm. you find that their growth rate is too slow. Oh. They consume a lot of feeds, mm -hmm. and uh, unfortunately, the, the the weight gain is too low oh. because and of weight the weight gain is important uh, for pigs. For pigs, uh, because mm. of if you get the right genetics, you're mm. going to when you put them under good feeds, mm. it will reach the maturity stage on on time. Now it means that the farmer are going to their money is going to pay them, mm. uh, their investment. Yes. Now, what can you tell us about this pig farm? What makes your pig farm different from all the other pig farms? Because for us, we wanted to, uh, we wanted to do something that uh, I utilize everything that is 
even the waste material in the farm because you find that uh, the, the pigs you are going to feed them mm. and once you feed them they are mm. going to produce waste okay. and as you produce waste you find that uh, mm. even get, getting rid of the waste it become problematic to many farmers mm. now there is this uh, thing called the uh, maggot mm. farming mm. the maggot farming there is a certain type of fly called black soldier fly the black soldier fly you find that it is a very different type of insect it's not like the house fly or any other fly because mm. you find that um, mm. it doesn't have a mouth. Now it can transmit uh, infections. Now you find that uh, once we feed the pigs yeah. and the waste that come from pig, we store them. Now uh, you mentioned maggots. Yeah. Are we going to see some maggots today? Now the maggot will see them, but yeah. we are not going to see the flies. Fly. Uh, because we have just started it a month ago mm. and the flies they have started emerging. Uh, but the maggot will see them. Uh, okay. Just started them. Uh, okay, I can't wait. Now, please take us through your pig farm. Uh, hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Welcome. Okay. Thank you. Now here you are supposed to disinfect. Again, eh? Uh, By security. Again. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Now this one, yeah. it is a, we call it a camera. It's a camera. It's an L, it is an LYD. NYD, yeah? L, LYD. LYD, okay. L, LYD, it's an F2 generation. Oh, the ones you wanted, eh? Uh, the F2, eh? Uh, okay. F2, uh, Why does it have the blue, I don't know if they can get it, the blue mark on no, it the here. blue mark, it, I, I saw it as it, it had some small holes. Now it, I disinfected. Uh, is it iodine? It's an iodine. Oh. Now I, I didn't want the insect to interfere. To interfere. Uh, no, I'm seeing behind that there's a net. Why? Uh, now you find that uh, there's a problem in Uganda. You find that uh, there's this uh, disease called African swine fever. Oh. Now African swine fever, yeah. this is a, a viral disease. That mm. it, it doesn't have a, it doesn't have, it a, doesn't cure? have a cure. Oh. Now once it it it, uh, it enters the farm, mm. it can kill the animals hundred ah, percent. Now you find bad. that uh, yeah. the modes of transmission it can be transmitted through contamination of infected uh, oh. equipment. People can come into the farm. Mm. Now you find that uh, we decided to place the net the there net. because you find that there are some bad meat eating birds mm. they can eat uh, meat outside there and when when they come oh. here they can affect the pig okay. now we, we decided that we are going to uh, protect the pigs to from, the the, uh, from the okay. birds okay um okay let's move on now let's see mister here is it a mister <gasps> yeah, this Ooh, one is a, a mister mister yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Now this one is the fad. <laughs> oh, why, why, oh, what happened to the ball? <laughs> what just, happened to the ball? I just placed that chemical. I did, eh? Because they, do they injure themselves? No, this one, it mm. opened the door and it went down there. There's another ball there. Eh. Now they started fighting. Oh, mm. guys, this one wanted to fight. <laughs> it moved out so that it can fight. Mm. This one impregnates all the others. This one is the one which we use it as the bow. Mm. Uh, it serves, it has served like 10 of them. Yeah. Uh, in total, we have, I have 18. Oh, okay. This one is not for sale. All of them, this one are just parent. The mm, one we are going parent. to sell, when we, when they give, give birth, birth. Uh, they are the ones that we are going to sell. Mm, have you heard them give birth before? Has she given birth? No, they have not. They, are, they, they have not yet. Yeah? They are still uh, gifts. They oh. have never given birth. Your farm has a different, mm. what is this called? Like the pig farms, we've been to some pig farms, mm. but they don't have this type of structure down. What's the benefit of this structure? The benefit of this one, you yeah. find that cleaning, cleaning it oh, is easy. Makes it yeah. easy, eh? Makes That's it why easy. you picked this one. Yeah. But are they comfortable? Does it get too cold? Because I'm seeing stone. No, it's not cold. You know, in, when when it comes to pigs, yeah. when the, when they are too, when they are small, mm. they 
they they get problem of uh, chilly the coldness but when they grow mm. they they need a lot of uh, cold, cold. Uh, now you find because they have developed fats mm. now you find that there's no problem down there oh okay because even they most mm. of the time we, we we pour water on them mm. Waste management is problematic to most farmers unless it's handled in a proper way. On this farm, the pig poop or dung is collected to produce maggots that can be fed to the pigs or poultry. Maggot farming can also be an extra source of income. Now this one, mm. this one is the pig poop. If you cannot get rid of it in, mm. a, in a good way, it's mm. going to attract so many flies. Mm. And like the fli right now. Uh. Uh, and the flies are going to act as vector to vector mm. for disease. For disease. Uh, now for me, I decided mm. that I'm going to use Co them mm. to feed the maggots. Because... Oh, uh, this is why, instead of wasting that poop, uh, you collect it, feed the maggots, the maggots. that they feed on. Uh, Psycho. When it, it is used by the maggot, mm. the maggot can work on them on 14 days. Now they are, you find that they are very good manure. Okay. You can pack them and, and sell to farmers. Wow. Uh, you're going to see them. Do you also do that? No, yeah. because the maggot has just started it uh, like. Uh, but you're less planning to start selling it? Yeah, the, okay. Uh, okay, thank you so much for this. But before we go, before we leave the pigs and go to the mm. maggots, tell us the prices. In case anyone out there wants to like buy from you, mm. how much would the food? No. I don't know that. Mm. Like, <laughs> just tell us how your pricing goes. Now for the pricing, mm. for, I I was this I was thinking of selling a a, a three a, a two months old piglet at two hundred and fifty to three hundred. A two hundred uh, month piglet. Yeah, two and months. how big is it? Is it big like those ones? No, this one will be big. It will be this size. Oh. But I want to see those maggots. Let's go to the maggots. Okay. <laughs> Excited about maggots. Can you give us a brief about these maggots? The maggots, the way God created them, oh, okay. uh, it's they were created in, in a way that they decompose anything in the environment any organic material in the environment. Okay. We saw that uh, this pig dung, they're mm. also organic. Yeah. The maggots can work on them. Mm. Uh, you may you find also the housefly can work on them, but uh, you know there are different types of maggot. Yeah. We have maggot from housefly, we yeah. have maggots from black soldier fly. Okay. Now for here, I wanted to do maggots for black soldier, soldier fly. Yeah. The reason I wanted to do maggots for black soldier fly mm. is because uh, black soldier fly, they are not vectors of, of any disease. You find that they don't have a mouth. Oh, okay. uh, it's not like the house fly. Mm. Because you find an house fly, when it is eating the decomposing material, mm. as it is eating, it lay eggs there and also it carry any diseases that is there and it can transmit it to different places. But you find a, a black soldier fly, it's not even attract, attracted to human being, to the human habitation. Hmm. Now you find that uh, it can't carry any, any, any disease. Any virus uh, to kill. To now, you, uh, now you find that uh, you are supposed to domesticate them. The reason for domesticating them hmm. so that you collect eggs and the eggs you are going to hatch them for three days. Mm. Then after hatching the eggs, mm. now you introduce them to the decomposing material like the pig dung, it mm. can be cow dung, mm. it can be fruit waste. Mm. Now any material, any decomposing material that you can get from the environment. Mm. Now here I'm using the, mm. I'm using the pig dung. The pig dung, you're using yes. that, so you got the dung from the pig? Yes. To feed the maggots, to feed the maggots. That, and then you get the maggots and feed the pigs. That is the plan that I have, oh. but for the first time I'm going to feed them on the pot. Okay. Uh, because uh, my target was to do it a ton per week, okay. but now it is still small quantity. I'm, I'm trying to develop the colony. Okay. Because you find the most difficult part, hmm. you first have to develop the colony. Hmm. Uh, and you find that to get the eggs it is expensive because oh. you get a, a gram at 56. Oh, really? Now you have to buy small and develop the, the colony first. Oh. Uh, okay, let's see some maggots. Uh, I see them. Oh yeah, I see them, sorry. 
Now initially these ones they mm. were picked down but now mm. you find that they are It's such ah! they are freely worked on the pig dung. Now after decomposing this away you separated them. They are nature mm. when they are placed under the under sun. Mm-hmm. You can have a mesh which has very small holes. Mm. Now when you spread them on that net. Once mm. you spread them on the net mm. you find that they will try going down. Okay. As they go down they will yeah. be passing through the, the net yeah. and they will be collected down. Oh. Now you fa- you remain with them. You remain with the manure. Now the manure you can pack it and maybe you can sell it to farmers. Don't you is it a health hazard for you to cut to carry them in your hands? Do you need like gloves? No, there's no problem because this one they suck all the they they have sucked. Mm. Uh, how what's special about this house? Now this one we decided Structure, to do sorry. it locally mm. because the most important thing you are supposed to ensure that it is it it is constructed in a way that mm. the predators cannot come and eat the maggots so you see like this ones i'm supposed to put oil here okay you see the the red ants yeah. because the red ants they can come and they can climb and start eating the maggots okay and now you find that you you're supposed to place oil here mm. so that when they enter there they cannot climb okay the first thing mm. you're supposed to offer shade the shed is just to prevent them from environmental condition like rain mm. excessive uh, heat on this house you have two sides you have mm. the maggot side the side and okay. the other side it is the fly side oh. mm. so you get the fly so how did the maggots come about the life cycle of any insect it undergo four stages mm. it undergo egg stage mm-hmm. then larvae stage mm-hmm. then pupa stage then mm-hmm. adult stage mm. or the fly stage this one is called a cage yeah. but because it was the first time i've been getting so many challenges because mm. i had no, uh, i added put this structure now okay. you find that there are some insect inside because mm. this one i had placed in outside Now you find that other insect laid mm, the eggs but there. But the first thing mm. you're supposed to have the colony. Okay. Now so, the mm. colony when they are inside I'm mm. going to put something which is smelly inside there. What's smelling? This this is smelling. No, pick down oh, small pick, small okay. quantity. Then I'll just open here. And oh, you don't have to but <laughs> Okay. I'll just open here. Okay. Then once I have the poop dung which eh. is smelly Maybe I can assume that this one is a poop dung which is okay. fresh. I'll just place it inside here. Mm. Once I place it inside, mm. this one is called eggs. Eggs. Uh, they they are going to lay eggs here uh-huh. inside here because they 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 like uh, laying when they are hiding themselves. Mm. Now they'll enter here. Mm. The way God created them they are supposed to lay eggs in a smelly thing because oh. they think that they are protecting the they are babies. protecting their yeah. babies mm. so that once they lay mm. those babies start decomposing the organic mm. ma- the organic material and then you remove this the eggs yeah. now w- once you remove the eggs oh, okay. you are going to collect the eggs oh. because it, this one is smooth mm. you are going just to crush the eggs mm. after collecting the eggs mm. You can collect when the insect are full inside there you can yeah. collect like 30 grams. Okay. Once you collect the eggs mm. you place them in an archery. Okay. Archery you can use like mace brand just a, a handful. Okay. Then after 3 days they will have hatched. Okay. Then you introduce them to the pip to the poop dung. Okay. Then they work for 14 days. Mm. Then after 14 days you find that the the manure is ready. Okay. What advice would you give anyone who wants to follow your footsteps? May I encourage people to start with with the what is on their hand even oh. if it is very small. Yeah. But with that small they should always think big mm. because even even if you think big and uh, even e- even if you have small mm. there's a chance of you growing to uh, big. A, a big company. Mm. For us also you find that it's not a, it's not a big investment. Mm but also we have a vision mm. so that 
like in five years time hmm. we want to ensure that like we produce like five tons hmm. of the maggots yeah. and also we change the pig industry okay yeah, yes. you know the takeaway from this is that you can start with whatever hmm. uh, whatever you have on your hands okay yes. now guys thank you so much for watching this video make sure you give it a thumbs up like hit the bell for notifications and subscribe to our youtube channel that is kenganda please also follow us on all our social media pages kenganda nation instagram kenganda nation facebook kenganda nation twitter i'm your host joanita till next time